Good morning, Litecoin enthusiasts and Litecoin Foundation. Today, let's check it out today. Let's see what's going on. Today is December 14, 2019, 5.39 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Now, this is for all the agencies and law firms that are out there. Okay. You want to go to this video that's got 143 views. And... This one here will show you the actual letter I based my investigation on. Let's see where I can find it. See the letter? If you want to read it, it's right here. Both pages. This is how uh, Coinbase admitted the owner of those two trades is indeed their market maker. They say after a long drawn out investigation that they can prove that the market maker isn't manipulating the market yet with simple math which I provide in many of my videos you could see that what the market maker is doing on this video itself is contrary to what they stated it contradicts it 180 degrees I can prove with simple math the math is all over my channel when you see these calculators okay they claim that the market maker is not manipulating the price, the mid-market price, using the two largest trades in the order book because he's placing his trades equidistance away from the mid-market price between 40 and 44 cents is not to interfere it, interfere with the mid-market price. Yet I can go in with the simple calculator and show, like for example, my latest video number 504 with two views that those two trades are 32 percent off of being equal to equidistance and in fact I could show you how those trades actually are creating the mid-market price by them exerting their size and pressure on the market by pushing it toward the mid-market price it changes the mid-market price all you have to do is move either one of those trades closer to the mid-market price to influence the market to go the way that you want it to. So if I was the scammy market maker and I want the price to go down, I take my sell side trade and I move it closer to the mid-market price, asserting pressure on it to drive it down. It's a very simple form of manipulation. Now on the other front that they're going to claim, when, when, when uh, Jonathan Mitchell is now talking to Whistleblowers International, and there's actually a couple other lawyers working on this, they're going to claim they were not informed about this. Feel free to use, in these videos itself on my database, you'll actually hear me on the phone talking to Coinbase staff reporting this, and I also have copies, which they deleted, uh, in my uh, when I go to Coinbase service, I say, "Hey, look, there's something funny going on here." You type in an email and you send it to them to Coinbase support. Well, they went and closed all my cases without resolving them, but I kept copies of my cases. So they they were trying to uh, destroy the paper trail, so to say. Now, I also have, if you look at this one here. See what a little hand is? That's my correspondence with their head of global investigations. That's me blowing the lid off of this, trying to contact Coinbase to tell them, hey, look, the market make is a thief. I also have a, uh, a phone call recorded where I'm actually talking to Adam White on the phone and explaining this to him. And two weeks later, what did he do? He quit and went to Bob. All of these videos you see here shows me calculating what the market maker is doing. I vigorously started recording this from October 15th. I have not missed an up and down trend yet. And if you go to my latest video previous to this one, I show you how he was driving it up. Uh, if you do the numbers, you can follow the trend. 
I do believe he's going to keep the, driving this up over the weekend. I'll do the numbers later. It's too soon right now. So you can see all the information is here. What you see here at the 500 videos, I actually have maybe double the amount more in uh, phone calls and other information that uh, that can be also used. I mean, this is pretty substantial, but I have even more on a separate hard drive where I show other things. Uh, you can also feel free, Jonathan Mitchell said, you could speak to him anytime. He went to the Litecoin uh, Foundation Summit and asked the project manager directly to his face, among several others. Okay, so he says you can. I can count him in. You can also talk to the the Stanwood uh, Stanwood Spartans. He came up with further proof. He said, if you want to see if these tr uh, trades are manipulating the price and where they're bringing the price to, you just do a simple average. And lo and behold, of those two trades at the current price that they're at, you take the price of those two trades, the market makers trades, you average them out, the buy and sell, and lo and behold, you get the mid-market price. It's one. It's less than 1% off in most cases. A lot of times I show it hitting spot on. So we come up with... Uh, uh, a couple of simple elementary math formulas that show that the market maker, yes, is indeed manipulating the market price using those two trades because those two trades are in no way being held equidistant. In the last uh, monitoring of it, it was 32% off. We have math. Math is not lying. The market maker is indeed manipulating the mid-market price, and yes, Coinbase Pro is showing its Goldman Sachs root, roots because that's where Brian Armstrong came from. The guy is an outright thief and a fraud. He stopped wearing his suit now and he's wearing a highly recommended black t-shirt. We're not buying it. Okay, this these people think everybody, they, they claim nobody knows what they're talking about but them. Okay, everybody else that's pointing out these simple mathematics, well, there's something wrong with them. They're stupid. Well, if you find simple math stupid, it's not me with the problem, it's you. The math doesn't lie. The math is exposing these guys for the criminals that they are. So what I suggest is uh, uh, people involved here that were presented this math. Okay? Uh, one of them was working for the marketing team for the Litecoin Foundation. That's Gam Dan Gambardello. He quit the foundation because I exposed him. That all he was doing was pushing a coin with fake stats. That it was going up to a thousand dollars by the end of this year, and then if it, when that didn't pan out, he created another bullshit story. I have it recorded in the videos here. You can look through these videos. If you need any help, I'll coordinate with you and give you the videos that you need to see, or what type of information that you need to see. I will provide it. These guys are outright frauds. They're criminals. Now, every time I post something up on Twitter, I'm getting a friend request from people on Facebook. I'm getting my YouTube channel. Okay, this is the most manipulated I ever seen people cover for a pack of crooks is YouTube covering for corporate fraud. I see my subscribers go up 10% after one video gets like two, 300 views. And then all of a sudden, all of them unsubscribe. And then I tell them, go check your uh, your feed, see if you're still subscribed to my channel. Out of the 10% of the people, 5% said that they had to resubscribe. And the other ones, I don't know if they even know they've been unsubscribed because YouTube is covering for their former engineer, Charlie Lee. He worked for Google. All right? We know what's going on, YouTube. We know, we know that... Uh, John Kocholek, uh, the global head of investigations, called you up and tried to get my uh, video of my correspondence between myself and him struck down. YouTube ch told me, and after review, they said, Mr. Russo's right and you're wrong. This, pro this is, has proven to be the fact with Coinbase Pro too many times because what you got is a bunch of thieves who are, t who are, who are racing to the wall, to the brick wall, they're taking it as long as they can. 
and they're pushing people out of the way to get to their goal, which is to try to get as much money from the scam they're running before the, everybody catches up to their ass. That's all this is. They don't have no brains. They're just taking a calculated risk, and they know it's going to run out. Okay, they know it's going to run out. Every time you sit here and you watch Litecoin, you buy Litecoin. And then you find out that the price has been dumped down from the market maker after the last surge in a volume. That's what they're doing. Oh, there was a surge in volume. It drove the price up. Okay, time to dump it down and trigger all the stop losses and get the coin back cheap and then sell, them, sell it back on, on the approach of the next surge up. That's all they're doing. It's a scam. It's a scam. You people on here who support this Litecoin bullshit or any of this Coinbase Pro nonsense, I'm not against cryptocurrency. I think it's a brilliant idea. But these guys, these exchanges have latched onto it and they're exploiting it to friggin' rob you. They're using it as a vehicle to run a scam on you. And you can actually grab a hold of any new, new technology and do this if you're the one who buys and sells it. You can artificially control the market to the exchanges and pump up the price or bring the price down. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're exploiting us. They're criminals. They deserve a long-term jail sentence. That's what they need to go to. And these agencies, I, I, they're, they're worthless. These people need to, a team of lawyers like the Whistleblowers International to come in, file complaints, and sue them into poverty. Sue them right out of the market. Every every client, I'm telling you, every client on Coinbase Pro, you're owed money because they allowed this market maker to exploit all. He's, he, they told me in a letter, the letter's here too, you can see it. They told me this is a noted market maker, and he's across all. All the trading pairs on Coinbase Pro, he's manipulating every single one of them. All the use of victims. Okay, there's the letter right there. You can see it right here. There's the one right here, so you can see it. Again, go to my videos where you see that letter and you start reading it. They tell you that who it is who owns the trades. They, they concocted a story. After a thorough investigation... Coinbase has found that the market makers' trades are always equidistant. You can go here any time, like I did yesterday, and see that they're 32% off equidistant. They lie. They lie to the New York Department of Financial Services. The proof is there. Anybody who do simple math can put this bullshit, reply to the New York Department of Financial Services to the test, and see that Coinbase Pro is full of shit. And so is Charlie Lee. That was the that was the biggest exit scam I ever seen in my life since since I've been in cryptocurrency from about 2014. It was an exit scam. So I'm gonna post this on Twitter. People, be aware of what's going on. If you don't understand what's going on, you have to go to these videos. These videos are key. You have to learn the math formulas. You have to know that people have been approached. You have to know that Charlie Lee banned me from his Twitter, from asking a simple question, okay? You have to understand that uh, uh, the uh, head of global investigations, upon exposing this to the, uh, the public, he tried to get the video correspondence, the, the email correspondence between him and myself banned from being posted on YouTube for some kind of made-up nonsense. These guys are criminals. They're lying to you right to your face with a smile. You don't have to trust me, and you certainly shouldn't trust Coinbase Pro. Learn the math, do the math, read the letter, compare the math. The math will help you compare what they state to what is actually going on in the exchange, and you will see that this statement here that they issued here to the New York Department of Financial Services is a total fabrication and yes indeed they are lying to everybody and they are ripping off everybody that's what the math does that's what it proves out there's no denying it there's no sticking your head in the sand it's there and if you notice one thing about my videos I want you to see this I've noticed this now every time 
you see this document posted on my video look at the views okay that's the agencies here this one has it too where I run it through like I'm showing everybody how to do it look at the views right everywhere I post that document you see look you see everybody's looking at this document this document was issued to me because I was the complaint the complainant and I and those documents are mine they're not confidential you see so what, what, what's been happening is I think uh, where the documents are, you see, you get lots of views. You know what those look? 442 views. You see this? This is the document where we are, we're exposing this. This is spreading around. Okay? Uh, a lot of the people that are looking at this are, uh, well, now Whistleblowers International. And a whole bunch of agencies, including the SEC, are looking at this. I gave them the link. They're sourcing from me. This is why Mnuchin can get up there on it. MSNBC and say these speculators. Are, we like crypto, but these speculators, there's, there's something wrong with them. They're going to crack down on the speculators. Okay? And that, that market maker, don't worry. I have them looking right at you, you bastard. You know what you're doing. And don't pretend it's too obvious that you wouldn't know, okay? You see where the documents come up? Now, I've been getting uh, view accounts. When my view account suddenly gets to, like, 60, all of a sudden the, view, uh, the subscriber count goes up to 60. All of a sudden it starts to tick down. Not one, not two, like five, six at a time get dropped off. So YouTube is, is a, a, a Google-run company. So what they're doing is they don't want this information to spread. So they try to make this channel look unpopular. But you can go in here and see uh, I got like 11,000 views. How do I get less than 60 subscribers? I have like almost 12,000 views on all my videos. Yet 56 subscribers. And then when the subscriber count goes up, mysteriously it goes down the next day so you're telling me people are coming in five ten people at a time they're subscribing after I hit Twitter everybody likes it they subscribe to me and mysteriously the next day they get up to unsubscribe from my channel with no provocation to do so there you go the internet has become a nice haven for, the, for, for these charlatan thieves they got to be kicked out. So you could see the video that everybody's interested in are the ones with the, the, the legal documents included. And I do believe it's possibly the legal department of Coinbase Pro on here multiple times trying to figure out how they're going to freaking weasel their way out of this one. You just can't. And when I caught this, you should have you should have Settle with myself and all the other people this market maker of if you are honest in exchange. When somebody's reporting a crime and one of your associates it's robbing people, yes, you are responsible. And if you're talking about human senses, there is also another sense you should take in, Mr. Armstrong, a sense of moral obligation. It talks about human sense. You have no sense. And believe me, there ain't nothing there for morals. It's like you it's like your black shirt blank. Whoever told you to stop wearing a suit when you're on Twitter, they should have told you to wear like a a, a brightly colored like a Bahama shirt. Uh, yeah, yeah. But people like you just don't get the reason why that would have to be done. Because there's nothing inside. It's just an empty suit. Goldman Sachs ghoul. That's all he is. Brian Armstrong. He's a Goldman Sachs ghoul. You guys better know that that he used to work for Goldman Sachs. Okay, the, those people are the worst financial slugs in the world. I know some of those people, the, the older generation, those that were actually honest. 
I know some of those people that work at Goldman Sachs. I was actually offered a job there, right? But, you know, I don't want to become a Goldman Sachs ghoul. That's what they are. They're ghouls. Financial ghouls. They, they, they lurk in the financial wasteland, waiting for some unsuspecting traveler to walk through. And then they friggin' pounce on you. Friggin', and come to think of it, Brian does look a little like Gollum, doesn't he? My precious. I'm holding the Bitcoin in his hand. My precious. I am going to rob everybody. Uh, so I gotta make light of it situation, but that's it, people. All you legal entities out there, uh, I won't copyright strike you to use my information. Feel free. If you need assistance, uh, I've been doing this work now for two years, exposing this. I went through a lot of work to get this done. A lot of channels dumped through a lot of ho hoops, talked to a lot of professors. Okay, talked to a lot of people, got the information I needed, confirmed it with second and third opinions from people with professional backgrounds. Uh, I'm able to be hired as an expert witness. Uh, I, I, I think I should get something for all of this. It's a lot of work I put in here. And I went through a lot of ridicule from the uh, Litecoin Foundation. I gathered, I, I gained a lot of animosity when I started rolling this rock downhill. And that's where this is leading. The, the whole market's manipulated. People need to be warned. I don't like to see people get their money robbed. You know, uh, you, what are you doing? You got somebody that's eating dog food, has a few dollars, sees a little hope to maybe improve their life by investing in this new technology, and which, which is a good technology. And then the people behind the exchange, the scumbags, the ghouls, rob them and reduce them to eating cat food or stealing. This is predatory trading. That's all it is. And like payday loans, it needs to be wiped out. I'm out of here.